And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new deck. We got Zed Sejuani going to be playing out a brand new one that put together uh, right here on stream at the beginning of the stream. Basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to play a, an aggressive deck with Nopify and Deny. I felt like Nopify and Deny are just pretty good cards these days, especially with Gohard being around everywhere, and then like the one mana pack your bags. I was thinking like, what can stop one mana pack your bags? I was like, oh, Nopify can. So I wanted to try try out a deck with Nopify. Now, of course, the reason, and then I wanted to be aggressive, you know, so then I wanted to be aggressive because if you just Nopify a pack the bag, pack your bags, um, they can just draw another pack your bags, right? And then cast it, cast a new one after that. And so you want to be a deck that can end the game pretty quickly and maybe they have to use the pack your bags to stabilize and you can counter it and then you can finish the game before they find another that's you know maybe the theory here um and then also besides that there's a lot of feel the rush right like that's that's the other thing is there's like pack your bags and feel the rush so i felt like deny is good against feel the rush so i kind of wanted to play a deck with nopify and deny and uh so then looking at what else i wanted to do with so that puts us in ionia so i was thinking like zed if we're going to be aggressive with with that and then think what else to do and then decide to kind of go freljord because freljord we get a buff up zed you know like turn on omen hawk into zed's always pretty awesome um and so kind of went with this when with zed said Juwani, we're gonna have two feel the rush at the top end so like if we do play against like the slower decks we could have you know turn nine even though we're not gonna be ramping at all but turn nine with our three spell mana nine regular mana we can play feel the rush and put a 10 10 sejuani and a 10 10 zed in play i thought that sounds kind of cool having like you know 10 10 zed 10 10 zed that's not easy to say besides that we have really good cards with babbling bjerg and avaros and Hearthguard, and both those cards not only are, are awesome but they're also awesome with go get it and uh we can have go get it um you know, with with both these cards like if we use it like with with a uh, babbling beard then the um whenever we recall it we put an ephemeral in in its place and so that's summoning an ephemeral so these are both summons uh so then you'll get the um ability there and then uh so like if you do it with babbling beard you would play go get it put the ephemeral into play draw a five plus power unit and then you can cast your babbling beard for zero of course and then draw another one so that could be pretty cool or of course really good with Hearth card buffing up everything in the deck quite a bit so that's that's our thinking here got a couple sonic waves to help out against like uh, an opposing twisted fate to give us some kind of removal give us some challenger because we need we need some kind of removal so we'll see how that goes this just works well with like big yetis or or zed or you know just our other big units uh got a fey guide in here that can grant some stuff elusive um which you know another another thing that could be good if we're making very large units we can make something elusive and that could could go well with go hard also or uh, sorry of go get it also making another thing elusive all right that's the deck let's give it a try this will be a new one zed sejuani i like this fiora vladimir those are two champions i like quite a bit i like demacia noxus opponent's deck's pretty cool so nopify would be good against single combat they may have some other like three mana noxa spells and stuff like that i think i'm going to just mulligan it though we're going to keep the br brittle steel for sure mm. i'd rather have the nopify than the avaros and sentry if i knew i was going to have zed nothing escapes my watch Oh, that thing's like, too tough. Too tough. I long for a worthy opponent. Mm. Let them eat try me. Alert the village. I am the blade in the darkness. I hope they don't have a barrier. Seize control. We go as one. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, we, we could I could have gone Challenger Zed. But I'm gonna wait. Like 
Because I'm not too worried about them like taking this and then their next turn having Fiora challenge that with me having the Brittle Steel. I am the what is ours. <clears throat> giving so leveled giving leveled up Zed challenger doesn't work too well because like whenever whenever you attack you put in the other thing you don't have you don't have like another like after the other Zed is attacking you don't get to then the living shadow you don't get to then challenge with it because um, you have to do the challenging all that challenging stuff first. Ah, they had barrier. That's what I didn't want them to have was barrier. Cannot deny a barrier card. But I like where we are, so we, you know, we're pretty even up, right? <laughs> we both have five cards in hand. Both have three cards in play. The War Mother will unite us all. So we got two bonuses with the Omen Hawk. Still. This will be quick. <laughs> That's alright. Our Zed's gonna be leveled up though. Be cool for Feel the Rush. Ooh, that could be a good Fey Guide, but I want to do this. You own what you take. Seven. I never hold back. Try me. <laughs> so now will this? I guess it's so it's an exact copy. So it'll put the five. It'll put a five three into play. I have no Eastwood. All right, we're gonna keep uh, deny up in case of fight spells and relentless pursuit. Hello, my darling. Cool. So I have the sonic wave that can give the plus two. To Sejuani. Oh man. I have a 6 5 Z. So, the question is do I just like, you know, only attack with the Sejuani for 7? Or do we play 6 5 Z and, you know, basically attack with everything? I guess attacking with everything is not good against Unyielding Spear. Uh, so, like, these two on the left aren't attacking. It would be me attacking with. With you know these three on the right, so none of none of them like they all have over five health, right? So none of them would just die to Fiora, so I wouldn't have to worry about. I think we do this. I wouldn't have to worry about judgment, or right, like I'm, I'm not gonna put the one one and the two one in in against the judgment. I've got your back. Hmm. Okay, that makes this attack not very profitable now. All right, so we'll go back to just trying this. Stand and fight. For the deep deck code, if you if you click on that link right above you in the decks, and it's just one of the very first ones, it's just the second thing, you click on that, you get to the deck list, there's a copy code button. I'm just doing that right now. I'll put, paste the code in the chat also, but... That's how you could find it. But there it is. Such unrefined style. Oh man. Kneel before me. 
sharp sight. Well, that's probably game. Where can I find a full-bodied wrist? Try me. Oh god. Yeah. Sharp sight. GG's on Yielding Spirit. GG's. That's gonna be Fiora's fourth kill. And I can't stop that. Yeah, I think I think I need to get my 1-1 one -one challenger, have that challenge, and attack out with everything. Last turn. Well, lesson learned. So Avros and Sentries die super easily, but they do draw cards whenever they die. I like the Trapper for sure, and I, I like Sonic Wave to be able to fight Twisted Fate. Um, just whether or not we keep one or two Sentries. I guess we'll just keep the one. Yeah, because they, they couldn't cast Judgment. Um, yeah, I guess I, I thought, yeah, I, I, I didn't play around Sharp Sight at all. I'm a better play around Sharp Sight. And that's what I mean about that card dying super easily. I want to play Zed, but obviously I want to have Troll Chant to help Zed out too. Joke debate. I guess we're just going to go Trapper and try to have Zed next turn. Next attack step, that is. Krog, if you work, burn if you don't. Who's falling for blood? Tread carefully. <laughs> so I don't know if Fior or Vladimir was doing that Fiora deck, but he's such a chill dude. Yeah, that's all he's doing. He's just chilling. So if I go Trapper and Enrage Yeti this turn, we'd have five mana next turn, so I'd be able to play Zed and Troll Chant, so I won't have Deny. But... If I kill you, I don't fart you, stupid! These stories were true! yourself to the shadows neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me do not deny me hot on the trail I'm worried about Gohard. I would I would like to play the other Enraged Yeti first, but I am I'm worried about one mana Gohard. that draw. Probably just playing Enraged Yeti and keeping Deny to protect Zed. Go for lethal. No. 
There we go, that's our deck. Aggro deck with Nopify and Deny. Back up. Awesome. GG's. One and one. Maybe I could have been two and oh if I would have attacked out with everything. That was a good, impressive win. You know, they had, they had a you know, really good hand and they had all that stuff that that Twisted Fate gameplay deck usually wants. Except for Twisted Fate. But that was a good, a good showing. All right, can we do it again? Same deck. I'd like them to not draw Twisted Fate again, and I'd like us to have the same hand. Basically, I want to <laughs> everything to happen the exact same. We'll keep Sejuani. Sejuani's really powerful. Oh no, I should have mulliganed Sejuani. What is you know? It is a six mana card. Get immediately punished by drawing another one. Bounty ball. Hmm. to get rich. I'm going to do Fey Guide my Omen Hawk. This does mean there's only two more Gohards in their deck. Play another one. So there's only one Gohard left in the deck. That's a way to keep them from drawing all sorts of go-hards all the time. All right, well. Spark and I will keep you safe. <laughs> Fey Guide Omenhawk. Gotta go with the flow. No, I didn't get to deny that one. If we, only if we could have denied that, that would have been all the rest of them from their deck. Oh, right, we added, we added this deck in afterwards, so yeah, let me change that. There we go. Leave us alone. Run. We fight for one Freljord. Man, we are so close. To getting all of the go hards out of their deck. You own what you take. Hey Kaba, welcome back. Yeah, we so we notified two go hards, but I just didn't have like other things to play. And so I, I had to play my four mana fake guide and so I didn't have deny. They they drew the third go hard. This is outrage. With the spray fin. But if I could have denied that third one, then they would have just none in their deck. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Let's do this! We're just gonna die to this Zap Sprayfin, aren't we? So Bjerg lets me help, lets me keep Deny available. I guess we'll go that route. We don't have to feel the rush next turn. We can we can feel the rush in two turns. Also. But I gotta I definitely have to pressure them with these large units.
So that's their second go hard. We're gonna let that happen. Now I have the open two spots. We play in bilge rules, son. Be nothing left when I'm done. That could be good. So I'm at six. If I play Field of Rush, I mean, they may they may just have like six points of burn and kill me. Of course, it's also possible that they have Ruination. I think that that's less likely. I think if they were planning on Ruination, they wouldn't just throw all these things out there. Yeah, they didn't have Ruination last turn either. I'm, I'm just gonna go with the Field of Rush. Wow. They had, that was like one of their first cards. Okay, well they did a, a great job telling me they didn't have it, and then they had it. A game. Go on then. Wow. Okay, I didn't see what they burned for the end of turn. Bow to no one. Monkey Idol? Oh, that card's so rough. With my life total being at six. Think about doing the Sonic Wave to kill the Monkey Idol. Man, why do they have to have the third go hard by turn four? Why do they have to have three of them by turn four? I've whipped up something special. Hail, War Mother. Drive them before us, Era. Alright, we'll use the go get it to save the said pony. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. So I have eleven overwhelm. So close. Ugh, not an overwhelm. Yeah, they just drew another one. That was a that was a really frustrating game. Uh, everything just lined up perfectly for them. Definitely think I could have won both of those games if I would. Yeah, if I knew how they'd play out, we could play them over. But it's not how the game goes. All right, we're not going to keep Sejuani this time. I said we're not keeping Deny either. Okay. <laughs> At least this time we probably won't have to Fey Guide our Omenhawk like we did last game. Not 
the shrouded path. I could see playing the Sonic Wave to use removal on Arachnoid Horror. Or I guess we'd use it on Mist Wraith. <laughs> what? Mark of the Isles? Are you kidding me? I have never seen Mark of the Isles in that deck before. <laughs> How do we keep on just... People having the perfect card of like... It's like people get to play their whole collection against me. Alright, what's the perfect card? Mark of the Isles? Okay, here you go. It's in your hand now. We don't run into a perfect hand again. Nothing oh, this game was disgusting. Have Zed die too easily. Want to be able to have some protection. The party has arrived. To the shadows. All right. Well, they should not be able to kill Zed with um, just one mana. I like Ruthless Raider, that's a good draw, because that, that allows me to play Brittle Steel Troll Chant this turn. Let's go like this. Time for the money makers. That's alright, I suppose. Safeguard our homes. See, they're a Draven deck. Will no one listen? Like, worst case scenario, they just play something else that trades with Babbling Beard. In name. Maybe we should just have two Sejuanis in here? I don't know, all these games, like these last games that we're losing, we just we have so many Sejuani's and Field of Rushes in our hands. I, I feel like our deck should only have one Field of Rush. I think the two is probably too many. I 
for me, mushroom. Stand and fight. Mm. Today we fight as one. I'd rather them kill my Sejuani than kill my Avros and Hearth Garden. Now we're cooking. Almost leveled up Ezreal. Almost. So I'm playing Field of Rush next turn, so we need... You know, 9 plus 3 mana. Allows me to play the Sejuani this turn, not have to worry about that thing. This House Spider is pretty good, though. It just blocks the Zed. Straight up. Okay, GG's. They will all learn to feel my order. Our deck felt like our honestly our deck felt pretty good. I thought so. Like both of our wins were pretty impressive and some of those losses, like, you know, the Mistwraith loss was just absolutely ridiculous that hand that they had. It was as perfect as perfect could be. And, uh, you know, so no, no real shame in losing that one. And then we, um, we lost to the Go Hard deck that, uh, was, was kind of a frustrating loss. They just, you know, if they just took some time to find the third Go Hard, it would have been better if I, uh, could have denied that or if I would have just had something to play earlier that wouldn't have had to tap out with the Fey Guide. Oh, well. Uh, and then, uh, you know, then I w walked into the ruin, that perfect ruination that, they played very well against that, you know, with that Ruination. Yeah, so like, I, I think our deck actually felt pretty good. I'd be interested to keep playing this. I think the card that I was probably the least uh, least impressed with was the Go Get It. Um, we did draw just a ton of Sejuani Field of Rush. I don't know. I, I was saying that maybe we need to have less, but I guess probably you want three and two, because I guess you don't really want to play only two Sejuanis if you're playing a Field of Rush. So I guess you probably want to play three and two, but the Go Get It's weren't necessarily that great. It did feel sometimes like I need something else to play early. Brittle Steel was just awesome every time we had it. Kind of would want another Brittle Steel, maybe. What could we do if we didn't play the go Gets? I mean, I guess we did have that go Get It that was good against the Vengeance. That one time. Both Deny and... Both Deny and Nopify were really good. I wouldn't mind playing more more deny more nopify maybe just like three deny one go get it i think that 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 probably just makes sense just to make that like small change right there i like fey guide a lot i want to try fey guide but it fey guide didn't really f work for me especially like whenever i was going to try to have fey guide lethal it just had that that sharp sight that was a crazy sharp sight <clears throat> so you know you could maybe play another two drop or three drop instead I don't really know exactly what, like a, a, a Starlet Seer, a, a River Shaper, something like that, but I'll probably just try this again as is. Just probably make that one little change. Probably just play a third Deny and only one and go get it. I think that would make sense. All right, but anyway, that's Zedjuani, uh, Zed Sejuani, or Zedjuani, if you want to call it that for short. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this new deck, anything that you think that could change in here, um, any upgrades or anything, or uh, if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.